someone that's through the ranks at top programs as an assistant top coach. Um, and she's trying to do big things with this St. Francis team, which she has her hands full. Um, she has a talented group, but a very, very young group, Jeff. Panthers win the toss and will be on offense first as we're underway here at the Pete. Malcolm has been on a tear shooting from three just inside. And she continues that hot shooting. I think she heard you, Jeff. She shot it really well in Florida, her, their last two games. I think she started coming on, as you just said, shooting over 50% from the field and over 50% from the three-point line. Which is insanely hard to do. Red flash, Janessa Boyd over to Ward. Ward with nine on the clock. Will drive into the lane. Her left-handed shot is short. Malcolm with the rebound, she'll push. Here come the Panthers. Malcolm takes it the whole way and has it knocked away. Good steal, good hands. Just an unfortunate, unfortunate turnover there by Aislinn Malcolm. She Nobody stopped her in transition. She should have taken that one to the basket. Carruthers aggressively to the hoop and high off the glass. And we're 2-2. Malcolm to King. As Panthers work the ball around. And you see St. Francis noticing early on head coach Keela Whittington knowing that they unfortunately don't have the height advantage. And Aislinn Malcolm makes them pay in that zone with that three. If you pack it in, it leaves that three, and that didn't hit anything. It, there was no net. You'd probably <laughs> wonder if that was going in. Three-pointer no good by Ward. Offensive rebound for the Red Flash. Kick out to Ward. Ward looking. Guarded by Washington. It's eight on the play clock. Good move and drive into the lane. Kick out is high and out of bounds. Turnover. Carruthers was trying to make something happen, but maybe she had a play in the paint, was being a little too unselfish. Yeah, I think she definitely was. She got a little pull-up jumper there, but she tries to hit her teammate in the corner. As you see, Aislinn Malcolm knocking it down for three. I'm sure Keela Whittington over there harping at them. No, she was on their scouting report as their shooter. And Malcolm misses the second one. Second three opportunities, she gets it back. Fresh 20 for the Panthers off the offensive rebound. Leah to King trying to get it to Iadell and knocked away. Here comes Destiny Ward for St. Francis. Ward over to Artero and back. 5-2 Panthers here early on in this non-conference matchup. Ward shot no good, Leah to King. We might say that a few times with the rebound. Good crossover and drive by Aaron Battle. Aaron Battle, nice move downhill. Just a quick little in and out crossover. Gets to the hoop. Great finish by the freshman and Aaron Battle. 7-2 Panthers. Three minutes in. Brothers to Ward and out to Boyd. The defense by the Panthers. Brothers going to stop and pop from three. That's short but off. A St. Francis foot, it will be pit basketball. And that's a, just a little miscommunication between the Panther Aislinn, Malcolm, and Aaron Battle there on the defensive end. They try to switch it, but knowing Carruthers is a three-point shooter, they left her wide open. She just missed a shot. King Washnitz, now a three from Battle. Five straight points from Aaron Battle. Yeah, Aaron Battle has been picking it up as of late as well. She's another Pitt Panther who's been playing well these last few games, averaging seven points over her last three games. Boyd is going to drive in, and now on the defensive side, Battle with the block. Great back-to-back -back plays by Aaron Battle. So Tori Verdi. You'll probably be able to hear him at some point tonight. Inbounds, no good, but offensive rebound by Carruthers and softly off the bracket and in. And that's a tough play, tough play by Kendall Carruthers right there. She was the inbounder, and she stepped in to get that offensive rebound over Marley Washnitz. St. Francis sticking in that zone. Washnitz cut off well. St. Francis D, 10 on the clock. Malcolm to King. King. Has it knocked away by Carruthers. Four on the shot clock. Aislinn Malcolm, no good. 
but it hit enough rim that Panthers had a chance to get it, and it will be off St. Francis, will be Pitt basketball. Fortunate for Pitt that they get that going their way because that was two great back-to-back -back defensive stands by the St. Francis Red Flash. They unfortunately just can't come up with it. Jayla Jordan enters for Pitt. Inbounds, Washington's. Gets it into battle. Battle ready with five points. Washington's used the screen. Malcolm's going to try another three. No good. Rebound to Artero. And a near steal. Brothers, though, pushes it. The shot underneath, no good, but an offensive rebound and put back by Juliana Gibson and a three-point opportunity for the Red Flash. Great combo there by the Red Flash. On the defensive end, they get what they want out of their 2-3 zone. A missed shot, but they get to secure the defensive rebound. They get out in transition and get an opportunity to get to the free throw line. Great job by the Red Flash. Bella Perkins, junior, enters for the Panthers. Three-point opportunity is no good. Rebound controlled by Pitt and Jayla Jordan. Battle kicks it out to Jordan. 10-6 Pitt, Washnitz open from three. No good, fight for the rebound. And I tell you what, St. Francis done a nice job on the boards and getting behind everybody is Destiny Ward and it's 10-8. And this is something that right now the Red Flash are really happy with. I think they're doing a tremendous job with Leah Two King. I'm sure coming into this game, their game plan was to limit her touches but limit her opportunities on the offensive end. And that's what they're doing. And they're getting stops defensively and getting out in transition because of it. Brothers is going to push it. Her right-handed layup, no good. Fight for the rebound, Leah to King. But in trying to get it out through a too hard off battle, a turnover for the Panthers. Pitt has an early lead. It is 10-8 Panthers. We take a timeout with 426 to play here in the first quarter at the University of Pittsburgh. What has been a little surprising, Brand, is that Panthers, not that they have a rebounding edge, but that it's only one. Red Flash have done a nice job on the board. They've attacked. They haven't been afraid, even though they have you know, don't have the size that Pitt has. Yeah, absolutely. They've done a really nice job, especially out of that zone, which sometimes it is hard to rebound. You get little angles offensively to get, there, to get the rebounds, but St. Francis is doing a great job on the defensive glass. Really nice move there from Destiny Ward, and we're 10-10. Battle. Bella Perkins. Washnitz. Hounded by Carruthers. 14 on the shot clock. Perkins download. Gabby Hutcherson turns around. And just the third different Panther to score. It's 12 10 pit. Carruthers trying to create some space. Hutcherson at 6 2, doing a nice job of sticking with her. And corner three, it looks like Boyd may have stepped on the on yeah. the sideline. Yeah, I think she her back foot was on the sideline there. Unfortunate because she did knock down the three. And unfortunate too that it's in front of about 30 <laughs> eyes that yeah. helped out the officials exactly. a little bit. Exactly. Yeah, I think so. 12-10 Panthers and another turnover for Pitt Ward bringing it the other way. Yeah, pitch and down struggling. to the floor is Hutcherson. Ward has an open jumper, no good. And Washnitz does a nice job of ripping down that rebound out to Perkins. Perkins jump shot is pure. Great read by Bella Perkins. Nobody picks her up in transition. Her gets to her sweet spot, knocks down a little jumper. Ward, and a nice game here so far to Boyd. Boyd's gonna drive in. She has it knocked away by Perkins and a foul on the Panthers. The foul is going to be on Jayla Jordan. As you see here, Janessa Boyd turns the corner. Jayla Jordan gets her after the shot. 5'9 freshman. She's probably thinking last year at this time, I wasn't going up against someone like that. <laughs> no, that's for sure. And you see Bella Perkins. Pretty little jumper she has there. Janessa Boyd 
12 points against Rutgers, also 12 against Loyola. And the free throw is good for her first point here tonight. Yeah, nice little another freshman that Coach Keela Whittington has on her roster. They started three freshmen and two sophomores. They have a bright future with St. Francis. Her sister plays at Binghamton, and Binghamton's going to be here on Sunday. So Boyd family, I don't know if they got rooms to stay the rest of the right. week. Right. And that's what Pitt likes to do. Yeah, and that, that was just a heads-up play by Marley Washness there. She makes a turnover in transition, but she sprints back to get beat St. Francis to the spot and takes a charge. Great heads-up play by her. So the Panthers have drawn 15 charges this year, eight now by Washnitz. Sounds like they might practice that a little bit. In and down hard and fouled, Ziodell. The Panthers finally get something going on the inside of that zone. Foul on Harris Robinson, the junior from Avonworth High School here in Pittsburgh. A little hometown love with a little crowd over there she has here tonight. Perfect free throw. Shooting 49% from the line coming in is Iodell. The junior transfer. Two for two. It's a good start for her to shoot 50%. She has been an All-American at every level she has played at so far and now challenging herself at this level and a steal. Leah Two King trying to draw the foul. Her left-handed layup is up and good. It's 18-12 Panthers. Nice play by Leah Two King. She said, I need to get into this game somehow and that is the easiest way is by getting a stop on the defensive end, getting out tr to transition. And stepping on the baseline again, turnover for the the Panthers. Another player. That's a different player to do that same thing there. Maybe there's not a, as much space here as it, there is at St. Francis. <laughs> you're getting into a different gym. You're just yeah. uh, there's so many yeah. things you're thinking about. The Panthers now have a six-point lead. They had an eight-point lead earlier, and St. Francis fought back to tie it. The Panthers have an eight-point lead again as Leah Two King has four in a row. And there's Leah Two. Shows a little smile. She's not very emotional on the floor, but she knows she might be getting going after those couple back-to-back -back baskets. Well, look at that move by Carruthers. Great up and under. Two over two six-foot players, Kendall Carruthers, listed at 5'7". Up and under, great move. There's the Panthers, number two, Leah Tu King, who had coverage of her. Leah Tu, one of the better shot blockers in the ACC. And just powering in and scoring is Iodell. That was just tough, tough basketball right there. She used her strength to get that basket. Carruthers walked as she jump stopped. Substitution. Marissa Shelton is in for the red flash. Jasmine Timerson for Pitt, another local in this game. North Allegheny High School. So King, Timerson, Perkins, Iodell, and Malcolm. Carruthers, Shelton, Robinson, Artero, and Ward for St. Francis. Kick out. Timerson to Malcolm. And a drive and score by Aislinn Malcolm. Great take by Malcolm there. She sees an advantage, an open lane out of that 2-3, and she attacks it for a left-handed layup. Destiny Ward drives in. Her floater is short. And rebound to Iadell. Timerson and Malcolm had some incredible games against each other in high school. Yeah. Malcolm's drive or left-handed floater is no good, but should go to the line. You, you always knew Malcolm could shoot from three. Could she add more to her game? And we've seen it so far this season. I think she has. I think she's grown in a lot of areas this season compared to last. She was known as a shooter. But this year, I mean, I'm hearing and listening to other broadcasts of people talking about her as she's a driver. Watch for her as a driver. <laughs> so that's really something to hear 
after what a three-point shooting specialist she is. So at this level, you need to expand your game, and she has done that, and that has opened up her range to shoot even more shots from three. Nine points in the first quarter as we reach 20 seconds left in this first frame. Not going to go back door was Ward instead. Artero has it over to Carruthers with 10 to shoot. Deep three for Carruthers, no good. Rebound to Panthers. Malcolm drives half court, kicks. Jasmine, no good on the late three. But the Panthers, after the game got tied at 10, Destiny Ward thinking of a way to get in inside. Carruthers will just drive in there and she loses it out of bounds. It will be pit basketball. And the Panthers have started to step up their defense of pressure on the defensive end, making it a little bit more difficult for the red flash to attack the paint. Jasmine Timerson gets it back. Leah Two King drives in. Good close to Perkins. Perkins kicks a baseline. Jazz wide open three, no good. Rebound tipped out and controlled by St. Francis. So Shelton will drive it up to Carruthers. Carruthers against Timerson and Timerson draws the offensive foul. Great play by Timerson as Carruthers gets inside there, just extends her forearm a little bit. Heads up play by Jasmine Timerson to fall down and take that charge. First foul on Carruthers, and she will sit down for a second, or maybe a few seconds. Cameron <laughs> Dorsey checks in. Kick over to Jazz. She'll drive, and Perkins passes up the wide open three. Panthers ball movement into Leah to King. That rolls off, and Dorsey gets the rebound. Dorsey, Harris Robinson. Baseline fake, good close by Malcolm, out for a three, no good. And it's been a while since St. Francis has scored. Perkins, head fake, drives in, nice move, and gets the right-handed shot to fall. Four points now for Perkins. Yeah, great take by Bella Perkins. They close out to her as she's a shooter. She has a little shot fake, splits the two for an easy layup. Destiny Ward, cut off by Perkins. Up top with 10 to shoot. In down low to Gibson. Gibson gives up the dribble. Dorsey's baseline jumper is good. Cameron Dorsey. St. Francis needed that one. They were struggling offensively to get anything going. But anytime you find the bottom of the net, it's a good thing for your squad. And wide open is Jazz Timerson. Just a little off and over the back is Iadell for the Panthers. Iadell wanted that one staying here for her. She thought she had good body control on that offensive rebound. They call foul against her. As you see Bella Perkins there, great take, split in two. Nice finish. So Dorsey continues to run point. Over to Boyd. Boyd's gonna use the screen. Drive in, and that pivot foot just slid a little. Yeah. yeah St. Saint, Saint Francis struggling on those drives to the basket right now. See, ninth turnover by the red flash. 12-point Panther lead. Pitch shooting 58%. Iadell kicks it. Wide open three for Perkins in and out. And rebound well by Gibson. Dorsey behind the back, pretty move. And her step back just won't find the bottom. She thought that one was in. Iadell gets the rebound for the Panthers. Malcolm from the foul, foul line, no good, but an offensive rebound for Pitt. Wide open three for Perkins. We've seen some good ball movement, just the yeah. Panthers can't get that three to fall. Yeah, man, great ball movement on the offensive end. Just shooting two of 11 from the three-point line. Boyd. Artero thought about it, but 
Leah to King close quickly. Dorsey with 10. Dorsey drives in. And a three from the corner is no good by Janessa Boyd. And it will be St. Francis basketball knocked off the Panthers. These are two teams that have dealt with injuries and don't have deep benches. Janessa yeah. Boyd. That looked like, to me, it went off of Gibson. And, and the they official have... corrects it. So yeah. there you go. Yeah, they turned it Without over to Pitt. Without a long replay, right? they just <laughs> talked and said, listen, I think it's the other way. They didn't have to go to the booth for that one. Washington's Yeah, battle. but St. Francis, excuse me, Jeff, St. Francis, as you just mentioned, extremely young, but also dealing with a ton of injuries. They have one senior on the roster, and she's out for the year, the remainder of the year due to injury. Yeah, Caitlin Maxwell, who's an incredible story. She missed last season. She played in a couple games, three games this year, was averaging 10 points a game, and unfortunately is lost for the year. Yeah. yeah, she was their leading scorer. And I'm sure she was their leader on the floor, being the only senior with seven new coming players, six being freshmen. That's a tough loss. St. Francis trying to work it for an open shot. And they get one, and the foul line jump shot is good by Juliana Gibson. Gibson. Lead cut to 10. Panthers haven't scored in nearly three minutes. King will go to the foul line to try to rectify that. Foul is on Gibson. Yeah, the Red Flash have been doing a really nice job against Leah Two King there at the free throw line. You see her there. Gibson thinks she has her hand straight up. The Leah Two King gets the, the foul. She gets number, herself to the free throw line. See number 13, Lauren Rust has checked in. First free throw is short. King shooting 79% from the foul line this year. And the second one won't go. Rebound by St. Francis. And they're doing this right now without Carruthers. All right, their best player. And driving all the way wow. and scoring. Janessa <laughs> Boyd, what a move. Wow. She went from the corner to the opposite side of the basket. She was determined to make that bucket. Great touch by Boyd. Wide open three. And that won't fall. Good rebound by Rust. Her putback won't go. And the lead cut to eight. Chance for it to get shorter for St. Francis. Yeah, if St. Francis can string a couple back-to-back, -back, there it is, back-to-back -back baskets together. Their defense is keeping them in this basketball game right now, Jeff. Marissa Shelton, the three, and it's a five-point game. Malcolm. Passed up that three, drives a baseline, no good. Rebound, St. Francis. The Panthers only getting one shot. And the drive and a blocking foul on Marley Washnitz. And Cameron Dorsey will go to the line. Yeah, and Jeff, back to the Panthers on the offensive end. They're shooting 17% from the three-point line. Panthers still lead it, though, 28-23, 4.30 to play here in the first half. You're watching women's college basketball. Yeah, and that's that shows you right there how St. Francis got back into this basketball game. It's their defensive effort right now. The Panthers, however, are getting good looks on the offensive end. They just can't connect right now, and they have no offensive rebounding to help them out. That is a high arcing free throw by Dorsey, now with three points. Carruthers, again, St. Francis has been doing this without Carruthers. Second free throw good. Leads St. Francis with six. Nine for Aislinn Malcolm leads the Panthers. The lead cut to three. Battle. Leah King has just not been able to get going. Mentioned the, the suffocating defense. Washington drives in. Pretty move, but doesn't make it again. St. Francis hitting the rebounds. Robinson, here's an attempt to tie it. No good from the corner from Shelton. And Panthers come the other way. Washnitz. Battle gets it into King. King's turnaround is good. 
first points in over five and a, or four and a half minutes for the Panthers. It's 30-25. Yeah, and that might have been the first one-on-one -on -one matchup that Leah Two King saw there in the middle of the court. Hand off to Dorsey. Dorsey, 14 on the clock. Just a little give and go. Good tip effort, but tipping it out of bounds is Juliana Gibson. Good idea, yeah. just unable to connect. Yeah, definitely a great idea. Just better defense. So you see King, Leotu with six points. Battle, Washnitz. So Washnitz gets a good bounce pass into King, and King is fouled by Gibson. Will go to the line again. I think there, that's the only way you could get the ball into King was the bounce pass. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And really, it wasn't the best pass either to her. She threw it to the high side of Leah Two King, where her defense was. If she would have thrown it to the low side, she might have had an and one for that basket. King's free throw is pure. Lead back up to six. Yeah, if Pitt can get Leah Two King going after these free throws. Two perfect can... free throws after two misses. Averaging 20 points and 12 rebounds a game. Good drive, kick out as Carruthers is back in. Open three is good by Janessa Boyd. And St. Francis is playing with a ton of confidence right now. The bench is getting into it. Keila Whittington over there excited. Washnitz, the battle down low to King. King going to work, create some room for herself. And it's 34-28 Panthers. And there's King again. And they changed her up a little bit there. They took her from the high post to the low post. See if that can change some things for her on the offensive end. Boyd tried to feed Gibson down low. Just a little miscommunication and a turnover for the red flash. We see King go to work right here. Right, you her using her strength. That's just too tough. She wants it again. St. Francis trying to sag. Washnitz looking to get it to her, does. Double team comes out to Washnitz. Battle, Malcolm, still plenty of time on the shot clock. As Panthers work the ball around and into King. Turnaround is short and a fight for it. Knocked off a leg. One on the shot clock and up and in <laughs> by Gabby Hutcherson just before the shot yeah. clock expired. That's luck of the draw right there for the Panthers. But Gabby Hutcherson will take it. Credit with the points. Brothers tried to find a floater as the lead is eight. Hutcherson turns it over and says immediately, my bad. Destiny Ward. Ward is going to drive. Her left-handed shot is no good. Hutcherson, though, grabs the rebound. Senior from Westerville, Ohio, Gabby Hutcherson, Ohio State transfer. And seven points and six rebounds against Duquesne. Washington's the sophomore from West Virginia from the foul line is good. And that's a great point guard shot. She has a ball screen by Gabby Hutcherson at the top of the key, uses it to a tee, gets to the nail in the paint, Knocks down a little jumper. And here we are again. It's double figure lead for the Panthers. Not for, a for second. long, Jeff. <laughs> Brothers has something to say about that with her three. Panthers quickly the other way. And the ball knocked out of bounds. And it will be Pitt basketball with 51.5 to play. And Jasmine Timerson to check in for Washington. Look at that hustle. Yeah. And somehow that found. Do we give an assist <laughs> to battle? I, I'm sure she would like the assist off of that play there. <laughs> Down low, Gabby's got a height advantage. Her turnaround is good. Six for Hutcherson. And Pitt is really successful off this on-ball screen that they continue to run against this 2-3 zone. Little on-ball screen on the wing there. Roll their post to the block, getting their post in some one-on-one -on -one action. Well, some really nice footwork there from Timerson. And ball tipped 
and controlled by St. Francis. Three on two. Carruthers will take it. Her shot is short. Boyd crashes for the rebound and gets it. One second off balance. Deep three is no good. And that'll do it for the first half. Panthers end up shooting 50%. Third. And the Panthers get it back. 12 on the shot clock. Washington's good look down low. And knocked away by Artero. And a deep three from Carruthers. No good. Rebound. Well done by Battle. Good positioning. Yeah, and back to Coach Ferdy, Jeff. The message he sends to his players and the standard that he sets, that he is setting here at Pitt, is they will play the same way no matter if they are winning or losing the basketball game. And I think he liked what he saw in the Florida tournament, but he is trying to get them to that next level to be different here at the University of Pittsburgh. Boy, just a little too strong. And Pitt has an opportunity to build on that nine-point lead here early third. Panthers in red flash. Leah Two King with a dozen now. There's Leah Two King from her sweet spot, that free throw line. She saw the one-on-one -on -one matchup. She knows she can knock that little jumper down. We well, saw Gibson thought about it, but a quick close by Adele. Destiny Ward. 10 on play clock. Drive and kick just inside the three-point line. Rattles out. Iadell the rebound for the Panthers, and Washnitz has it. Battled freshman from New Jersey, and Iadell just wasn't covered. She decided to go to the hoop instead of take the open jumper and is fouled. Yeah, and that's really surprising to see by St. Francis on the defensive end. Two plays back to back, as you see here, no one guarding Rapalucci Ayadel at the free throw line, the center of that defense of St. Francis. When in the first half, they were putting so much pressure and effort and emphasis on that high post presence with Leah Tu King and Rapalucci Ayadel. Now they're just leaving it open. Back to back plays, and Pitt is attacking it. Ayodel, 8.6 points. 10.3 rebounds a game so far this season. And has six rebounds and five, now six points in this matchup. Carruthers leads St. Francis with nine. She has the ball. Drive and a travel. See, 13th turnover by St. Francis. Frustration play there by Gibson. She was upset with herself on that travel call. Washington's over to battle. They work it to King. Panthers working that ball. 15 on the clock. Malcolm battles three. It is no good offensive rebound by Bellucci Iadel, but misses the putback. Here comes St. Francis. And that's what she does. She's all over the offensive glass. She just can't finish. Kendall Carruthers can finish. 5'7", <laughs> freshman from Holland, Ohio, cuts the lead to 10. Yeah, and that's a big three for her there in the red flash. Now she had the enviable task of trying to guard Leah Two King and fouls her. Yeah, that was definitely just a size mismatch there. And King took advantage of it. As she sees here, Carruthers trying to defend her, going to the basket. She unfortunately can do nothing but foul her. The second foul of the game, Leah to King. 12 points, two of four from the free throw line. Started with two misses, then two makes. And that one's short. Leah Two King, senior from Washington, D.C. 14 career double doubles, 13 points, four rebounds here tonight. Destiny Ward. Panthers man to man, guarded by Malcolm. Rick Carruthers. 
Perkins has Carruthers. Good defense. Perkins or Carruthers those finds a way to, way to separate herself, but Perkins grabs the rebound. Yeah, a lot of flashy dribbling down there for Carruthers. Just couldn't finish the fadeaway, tough fadeaway she tried to take. Baseline shot. Rapalucci Ayadel no good. Offensive rebound for Leah Two King in the putback. That's where her persistence come in. She she wants that offensive board, and she goes and gets it. And deep shot, no good. But an offensive rebound for St. Francis. Shelton over to Ward. Destiny Ward's going to drive her right-handed shot, no good. No foul called. I Iodell with the rebound. Malcolm's just going to keep driving until she's finally cut off, gets it back. Open three in front of the pit bench. Nice play there. Hazel Malcolm attacks, kicks it back out to King. Comes back to get a little dribble handoff. Knocks it down for three. Great play by King and Malcolm. 16-point lead now for the Panthers, and the Red Flash want a timeout. That's a timeout. 50 to 34, the Panthers have opened up a lead after a nine point lead at halftime. Yeah, definitely, they, they definitely came out of halftime with a different intensity on the defensive end and it has shown here in the start of the third quarter. So inbounds for the red flash, Cameron Dorsey with the basketball. St. Francis have made a couple of runs in this game. Destiny Ward. Shot clock down to six. Dorsey, kick out, open three is good by Harris Robinson, the Avonworth High School grad. Yeah, that was a great setup by her point guard, Dorsey. She got into the paint, got two feet into the lane, and kicked it out to her shooter and Harris, and she knocks it down. Jordan the screen. And a three by Perkins is no good. Fight for the rebound and controlled by the Panthers. And a look down low to King. King able to put it up and in. And the Panthers lead at 52-37. Bella Perkins saw that before it even happened. She saw Leah Two King wide open inside, makes a great lob pass to her post player inside. Nice crossover by Destiny Ward. St. Francis not going away though. They're within striking distance, only down by 13. King kicks it out. Ace Lynn Malcolm, no good. Fight for the offense rebound, but control by Harris Robinson. Harris was a manager at Florida Athletic or at Atlantic. And decided she wants to play. And got an opportunity with Coach Whittington. Yeah, talk about a story. I mean, who knows if she was even working out last year. Kick out, open three, Shelton around and out. That goes down, maybe it's a little different feeling here. 13 point lead. St. Francis though gets the offensive rebound. Kick out, Ward guarded by Leah Two King, drives in, left-handed shot, no good. And a rebound by Jayla Jordan. Battle thought about that three. We'll kick it out to Perkins, who will take that three and front rim and over. <laughs> She's like, please go in. Thank you. She needed that one. Great shot by Bella Perkins. Wasn't that one shooting model where you, you stare at the front rim and you want it to go over? Right. Well, it could hit and then go over. Steal by Shelton. Down low and fouled down low is Gibson by Aislinn Malcolm. No one really in foul trouble in this game. A number of players with two, but nobody has hit that three mark yet. Yeah. 16 point pit lead. Coach Verdi calling out the plays. Carruthers to inbound for St. Francis. So his players know exactly what to do. And they were looking to get a cut, but the Panthers end up with the basketball. Hutcherson on the run, no good. 
And rebound by St. Francis. On to Daffa. With the rebound for the Red Storm. Back door opportunity here. Carruthers is blocked by Jordan. Great length and athleticism by Jayla Jordan to get out on Kendall Carruthers to make that block. As you see here, Jayla Jordan, great effort on the defensive end. And then the red flash knock it out of the bounds, so it's back to the Pit Panthers. Going to build on a 16-point lead. Malcolm cross court. Shot clock down to 15. Drive in and knocked away and a foul. Call it on the red flash. Almost thought they weren't going to call that a foul there for a minute. Harris Robinson. They've mostly let them play here tonight. It's 9 of 12 from the foul line so far. 4 of 5 for St. Francis. Shooter's roll for Aislinn, 13 points. Perfect from the free throw line for Aislinn Malcolm. She's stringing together a few good back-to-back -back games here. Averaging Ga 11 points in her sophomore season. Gaining a lot of confidence this sophomore season. Last year, only averaged three a game. Yeah. And way less minutes as well. Sheldon the handoff to Carruthers. Carruthers with seven to shoot. Works on Hutcherson and somehow puts up a shot that hits the rim and an offensive rebound by Boyd. You know, the effort just to get that shot <laughs> off to hit some kind of rim. Yeah, I didn't even think that was going to get over either one of those pit players. Aislinn drives in and kicks. Gabby's, that's in her range. No good. Good box out by Robinson, but tipped away in pit controls. Smart by the Pit Panthers to pull it out. Get an extra shot clock. Perkins inside the three-point line. No good ball knocked by Battle out of bounds, but off of St. Francis. Two back-to-back -back extra efforts on the offensive glass for the Pit Panthers. Panthers is starting to extend a little bit the rebounding advantage, now a plus seven. Turnovers, 14 for St. Francis, 10 for Pitt. 17 points for Leah Two King, 14 for Malcolm, and 12 for Carruthers lead St. Francis. Yeah, and Leah Two King has been on the bench for the last four or five minutes for the Panthers. Jordan, turnaround, has it knocked away, but she gets it down to Hutcherson. Somehow gets that high-low pass in there to Gabby Hutcherson. Way to stay with it, Jail Jordan. St. Francis, only 10 points in this quarter. Drive in, make it 12 off the nice move by Janessa Boyd. Janessa Boyd having a nice third quarter here for herself. Approaching the 32nd mark here of the third quarter. Perkins, three. 10 points for Bella Perkins. There's Bella Perkins lighting it up a little bit. Two threes in this third quarter. Carruthers. Over to Boyd. Boyd, 10 to shoot. Drives in. Some contact. Left-handed and a three-point opportunity for the freshman from Frederick, Maryland. There's Janessa Boyd again. Great take. Great extra effort for the and one for Janessa Boyd as she fights her way to get inside. And look, she's going against Jayla Jordan, Gabby Hutcherson, who are way taller than her. Great effort, extra effort by Janessa Boyd. 58% free throw shooter is perfect. Boyd averages eight points a game. And Boyd has 14 here in this one. Three-pointer by Jordan is no good, and that'll do it here for the third quarter. Panthers 
extend their lead even more an impactful player because Leah Duking, I mean, that's what she's known for, for her, her Panthers. But Janessa Boyd really stepping up her game in that third quarter. How about Destiny Ward working it up and under and a three-point opportunity? Yeah, that was tough. Great take by Destiny Ward, using her body well against Bella Perkins to get the and one. A little step through. Bella Perkins thinks she's straight up. Destiny Ward going to the line for the and one. Ward with eight, now nine points. It's been a tough start for St. Francis, but you can see how they're going to be a problem for teams in the NEC. Perkins thought about the three over to battle. See a double team of King Hutcherson gets in his foul and a three-point opportunity for the Panthers on the foul by Gibson. Attacking that high post. Gabby Hutcherson loves to shoot the basketball. She makes a nice cut right across that free throw line for the and one. Five times last year in double figures. Hutcherson reaches double figures in this game. Ten points, three rebounds for Gabby. And the lead is 15 here early in the fourth quarter. Dorsey to Carruthers. She'll drive, kick it out. Dorsey, high arcing three, and fight for the rebound, knocked out of bounds, will be St. Francis Bowl. And these are opportunities that Coach Keela Whittington of St. Francis really wants to attack and get her team to score the basketball. Set plays, they know what is coming, and they just unfortunately can't make a good pass. You see her right there. Which has a nice recruiting class in. And the inbounds over the top to Carruthers. 15 point Panther lead. Dorsey and a travel by Carruthers. Yeah, and talking with her before the game, she said with the young team that they have, there's a lot of teaching that is happening in practice right now, which is okay as a good thing. But the freshmen and sophomores, they're learning a whole new system. The coach wants to have them out there on the court. Hutcherson works for the offensive rebound. The kick out, open three, battle from the corner. That's great team basketball. Aza Malcolm with a great drive to the baseline. Finds her open teammate and Aaron Battle for three. Destiny Ward tried to answer and rebound to Battle. Perkins crossover. Leah to King, 17 points and five rebounds. Good feed down low and Hutchison just couldn't finish. Yeah, that was a great high low. Unfortunately, Gabby Hutcherson wants that one back. Can't finish that layup inside. And off to Carruthers. We reach the eight minute mark. Panthers up 18. Carruthers thought about the deep three and then Leah Tu King got right in her face. Saw Leah Tu King closing out to her and thought, I better make a better decision than this. Contested shot, no good. Bodies on the ground and controlled by Hutcherson. Good hustle by Perkins. Bella Perkins with the one sleeve, if you will. <laughs> yeah, she's a tough, hard-nosed player. She's a Pittsburgh kind of girl. Malcolm's high, arcing three, no good. Rebound to Carruthers. Carruthers, 12 points. Wide open, high arcing shot is good by Dorsey now with six. She does have a really high arcing shot, doesn't she? But she makes they, it they rain. Can, yeah, she makes it rain, and they go in. That's right. And the ball knocked away by Destiny Ward. Nice pass. Look ahead. Not a lot of arch on that one for Dorsey. And the Panthers will take a timeout. The lead cut to 14. 67-53. Panthers lead it. Just under seven to play here in the fourth quarter at the University of Pittsburgh. As Pitt had built a, an 18-point lead and a couple of buckets for St. Francis. And I, 
I don't even know if it's as much the lead as it is trying to enforce messages to his team or Tori Verity. Yeah, absolutely. I think it is for sure because just as you see and think that Pitt is going to run away with it, St. Francis keeps battling back, fighting back, and trying to find a way to get back in this basketball game, and they have done that here in this fourth quarter. Leah to King, three of six from the foul line. We'll get two more opportunities. You know, he really harps on these players playing a certain brand of basketball, and when it's not up to his standards, he's going to let them know. Fanta Daffa with the foul. King's free throw is perfect. Leah to King. And you know what? Sunday is a big day for her. Her parents are both deaf. She learned American Sign Language, and they are going to have Deaf Awareness American Sign Language night Sunday right here at the Pete at 6 o'clock. Yeah, and how impressive. That was her first language was sign language. I'm sure such a special day and night for her. Yeah, it's cool that she can give back that way. Good give and go. And the bucket by Gibson. You know, for both teams, the pit's in control of this game, but both want to finish strong. Turnaround by Leah to King is short. Knocked to the ground is Iodell. That shot no good. Rebound to Leah to King. Panthers calling out a play against this 2 3 zone. And Leah Tu King trying to inch towards that double double with 19 points and six rebounds. Good defense there by Ward as Washnitz was thinking about shooting it. Battle will pull it out. Five on the shot clock. Washnitz from the corner, no good. Rebound to Destiny Ward. Pushing it Ooh. are the red flash. And that shot by Gibson is missed and a foul, excuse me, a jump ball, and it will be pit basketball. Pellucci Iadell. Six points, nine rebounds. It's always so impressive. Her rebounds are always more than her points. She averages more rebounds a game than she does points. Washington gets it down low. King, good look, and there is Iodell. Great share in the basketball. Marley Washington hits Leah Two King inside. Leah Two King sees her teammate cutting Rapalucci Iodell. Nice pass from King inside. 16 point lead. We're halfway through the fourth quarter. Ball knocked away, but controlled by Gibson. Baseline jump shot. Is no good by Destiny Ward. She's fouled, though, by Eastland Malcolm. It's just not a, a foul you want to give right here. You're up by 16 points. She takes an off-balance shot. As you see there, great extra pass by King to Iadell inside. But on the flip side, the Panthers on defense. You make her take a tough shot, but then you bail her out and send her to the free throw line. Watching That's Tori Verdi talk intensely to Malcolm. <laughs> That's now, a tough one to swallow. If you're Aislinn, you're used to intense coaching. You came from a high school <laughs> where yeah. your head coach was intense. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I, don't, I don't think she was yeah. phased by yeah. that one. Coach there. McConnell, <laughs> one of the best high school coaches in any sport in this area. Did a tremendous job, Shar Valley. 14 point is, points is the lead. Leah to King, her turnaround is short, and rebound fought for, control by Battle. Battle, open three. She earned those three. She sure did. She definitely rewarded herself there to get herself in double digits with 11 points. King leads 19. Five Panthers in double figures and an offensive foul on Dorsey. Gibson on the screen. 
Here you see Aaron battle wide open for three. Let me take this one, knock it down. She continues her great play over these last three games. We mentioned earlier that she started to step up her game. She got into the starting, she got into the starting spot and she's averaged seven points over her last three outings. But today, tonight she has 11 points. Good look into King. King's fouled before the shot, even though it went down. Heidel wants it to be yeah. an and one. Trying to help out her teammate. <laughs> the assist with the officials there. And foul on Destiny Ward. Inbounds off the inbounds. Perkins for three. Perkins again. Add it up for her third three in this third, excuse me, in this second half. And off to Shelton. Halfway through the shot clock, and now Carruthers has it. Carruthers with 12 points, trying to make something happen. Shot clock down to four, spin move, and shot blocked by Iodell. Harris Robinson trying to make something of nothing. Unfortunately, he gets blocked on that one. Washnitz. King, oh, good look to Iodell who finishes. Those two play so well together inside. And they're only going to get better as the season goes on. The third assist for King. I honestly think, Jeff, all three of those might be her teammate down low and Ravalucci Iadell. It's a timeout for St. Francis. It's an 8 0 run for the Panthers. And it's been 319 since St. Francis has scored. 79 57. 19 points for Leah Two King, 14 for Aislinn Malcolm, 13 for Bella Perkins, 11 for Aaron Battle, 10 for Gabby Hutcherson, 14 points for Janessa Boyd for the Red Flash, 12 for Carruthers, and 11 for Destiny Ward. For the game, Pitt shooting 47% to 38 for St. Francis. Teams are nearly identical from three at 30%. Destiny Ward in the paint, guarded by King. No good, but you could tell she altered that shot. Yeah, that was tough defense, and she knew it. Washnitz. And ball briefly knocked away from Iodell to Perkins. Good left-handed cross-court pass, and they find Ayadell down low. She is fouled and will go to the line. Great movement again. Ball movement by the Pitt Panthers. Aaron Battle passes up a wide-open three to find her teammate wide open inside to get herself to the free-throw line. Iodell, 18 points, 14 rebounds against West Virginia. Another double-double here today. 10 points, 11 points, 11 rebounds. <laughs> and Washnitz only has two points tonight, but seven assists to lead the Panthers. I think she's happy with that one. They're spreading the wealth there, the Pitt Panthers on the offensive. And in that scoring column here tonight. Everybody getting involved offensively. 81-57. It's a nine-point lead for Pitt at half. Panthers opened it up a bit in the third and are really opening up here in the fourth. Rebound to Perkins. Perkins looks ahead. But we'll shovel it back to Washington's. Oh, good pass by Battle to King. What Aaron Battle? 11 points, five rebounds, seven assists. Yeah, she's really come a long way since the beginning of the season. Not starting to start. I mean, she is just a freshman. She also didn't get many minutes starting out this season. And she's really coming on strong these last four games as she earned herself a starting spot. And she plays really poised for a freshman. 
She takes what the defense gives her. I want to say she's a pass first point guard. She looks for her teammates more than she looks for herself. And she's confident on both the offensive and the defensive end. Ball movement. King's going to drive in just short. Iodell with the offensive rebound. Unable to finish, but is fouled. We'll look to build on her 12 points. So, Iodo last year, Indian River State College averaged 14.1 points and 14.1 rebounds. Shot 53% from the floor. Free throw is good. It's cool. Earlier we saw a number of the men's basketball players at Pitt here to support the women, including Bub Carrington, Jalen Lowe, K.J. Marshall, all here. It's good as an athletic department. You've been a part of that when you see other athletes supporting you and what you're doing. Yeah, absolutely, because you know these girls are out supporting the guys, and they love seeing their counterparts in the stands cheering them on. Here's the antelope section. <laughs> the Avonworth grad, Harris Robinson, hits the three. Knocks it down for her family and friends over there, cheering loudly for her. King now with 23 points and six rebounds. So we get under a minute to play here in this game. Mm -hmm. And... Bank open at 8.41. <laughs> She's smiling, jogging back down the court. Bank is open, Jeff. 8.30 at night. Panthers working the basketball. Again, neither of these teams with particularly deep benches. And the shot missed and rebounded by St. Francis, Bridget Scanlon. You know, if you're St. Francis and you, you think ahead to NEC play, you, you like some of the things that you did today, the way you fought, the way you rebounded, especially against a team that's really good at rebounding. They they came and they had some nice box out, some good technique. Just in the end, Pitt just started making those shots they were missing earlier. Yeah, absolutely. And they battled this entire basketball game this evening. They have a lot of things to be proud of. I'm sure they'll go back and watch this film and break it down piece by piece but they shouldn't hang their heads. This is a great battle, great effort overall by the St. Francis Red Flash. 14 points for Boyd, 12 for Carruthers, 11 for Ward, 10 for Dorsey. 23 points for Leah Tu King, 14 for Idell with 12 rebounds, 14 for 